Hey, 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 good morning. It is Saturday morning. It is episode one, two, three. And as you can tell, if you're looking on this on YouTube, we have a picture that's fallen down and I need to get some more strips and put it back up. Every time I put it back up, it falls back down. So hopefully I can get it up soon and it just looks rubbish. So if you are watching this on YouTube, I apologize. Okay, so today is a book review. As I mentioned earlier in the week, I was going to review a book, and I don't know why my hands are going all over the place like this. I was going to review a book called Duct Tape Marketing. But if I'm honest, I found the book a little bit dated and old-fashioned, and I didn't really see the benefit of me continuing to read. So what I did was I stopped reading it halfway through, and that is most unlike me. However, I'm sure it was a very, very good book in its time, but for me right now, I just don't think I was getting any benefit from it, so I'm very precious about my time, and I want to make sure that I I get the most out of the, the reading and learning and educating myself that, that the hours I put in, and so if I'm just going to I know that I was going to get no benefit out of it or not very much benefits for the return on time I was putting in, so therefore, I decided to read another book. The book that I'm reviewing this week is a fantastic, as you probably tell by the smile on my face if you are watching this, I love this author. I love this guy. It's a book called Start From Zero, Dane Maxwell. Every big marketer has probably been touched by Dane Maxwell at some point or another, whether it's been directly working with him or somebody else who has worked with him or worked with the guy who's taught the guy who's taught the guy. Basically, Sam Ovens, I I work closely with Sam Ovens and his team, and Sam Ovens was trained by Dave Maxwell. And so Sam Ovens is now one of the best in the world at training up entrepreneurs, training people, training people for courses um, or agencies. He is fantastic, and and Dave Maxwell taught him. So as soon as I heard this, I thought, right, I'm going to geek out on everything Dave Maxwell has done. He's got a podcast called Start From Zero, and if you want to start a business, you must listen to that podcast. It's called Start From Zero, and he's just an awesome guy, or is it Starting From Zero? His book is called Start From Zero Anyway, and I can promise you, if you're looking to start a business, this is the man to help you. He is He kind of doesn't want to work with the entrepreneurs who are making millions and millions and millions now. What he wants to do is focus on changing people's lives, focus on the person who hasn't quite launched a business or hasn't ever launched a business. And he wants to help them start from zero, hence the name. He wants them to to help them people who are starting from zero, starting from scratch, and basically give them a framework where he can help go guide you through the process. And it's a great process. I'm trying to find my notes now as we speak. Um, So basically, he has has a customer, and then he, right, he says, what does that customer want? What is the result they're desiring? So there's a customer, and what is their result they're desiring? And then what you want to find is the mechanism. How did they get there? What is the mechanism to get them from the customer to the result? Or the result to the customer, whichever way around. So you need the customer first, and then you get the result. And so what is that mechanism there? And he talks about the mechanism. So it's customer, mechanism, result. That's it. So customer, mechanism, result. And so you've got to find out what result you're trying to get that customer to. And then you've got to say what mechanism it is. So for me, my mechanism is podcasting. I want to positively impact millions of people every single year. And so how will I do that? So customer needs um, positive impact in their life. And the result, that's that's a customer and that's a result. So a customer is someone who wants a positive impact in their life and that's a result they want. They want to be better for it. They want to be better today than they were yesterday. So what's the mechanism? How can I how can I get them that result? And it's podcasting. So it boils down to that. He, he, he dumbs it down so, so well. And he gives you these five questions as well. I'll just read you these five questions. Um, and the, this is to start a business idea as well. So this is really, really good. It's really it's fundamental. I was going to say it's basic, but it's not basic. It's fundamental problems for anybody starting a business, right? What is the most common and persistent problem today for anybody? So ask you, ask your customer, what is your most common and persistent problem today? How are you going about solving the problem right now? What are you doing right now to solve that problem? What happens if you don't solve that problem? There you go. You're twisting the knife a little bit. You're giving them a little bit of pain. Oh no, if I don't, if I don't solve this problem, then X, Y, Z will happen. Um, if I had a magic wand, how would you solve this problem? So how would you solve it? What would you do to solve a problem? And what would that be worth and how much? How much would you pay for that solution? And for me, I, I, do you know what? It's a really good book. It's a really, really good book. It's one of those books. The best, the best review or the best impact I can, I can say is that I never, ever put the book down. As soon as I picked it up, 
I carried on reading. I think it was like a seven hour audio. When I said I carried on reading, okay, I didn't read. I listened to the audio because from, as you know, I can't read very well. <laughs> In fact, I really struggle with my concentration span. I have to be doing something else when I'm listening to a podcast. I may be out going for a run and I'm doing the old running technique when I'm running uh, or I'm walking or I'm doing the pots or I'm, I'm doing something because I just can't sit there. My mind's going, D-d-d-d-d-d-d-d. And so for me, reading, it's, it's very, very painful. It doesn't really go in. And so reading doesn't work. So I listen to audiobooks and I listen to like two and a half speed or three speed or something like that. And so I listen to it in one sitting, which I don't normally do. And it was a fantastic book. If you are looking at starting a business, if you want to start a business or if you've got a passion in any way, shape or form to start a side hustle, a business or any, if you've got any ideas that you might want to do that in the future, then I promise you, this is the book for you. And if you are a seasoned entrepreneur, I still promise you, this is the book for you because this gets your foundation correct. And I promise you, no matter what level you are at in business, you will get something out of this guy. I have literally told two of business friends of mine, we're in a little WhatsApp group. I said, guys, please get this book. Please get this book. Please get this book. It is game changing. It is life changing. You will love it. And both these guys and they both earn six figures plus per year and they both absolutely loved it and geeked out on it and now have listened to every single podcast that Dave Maxwell has done. As you can probably tell, this is a Dane Maxwell loving. I just absolutely love the bloke. He's a musician as well. He was an old musician, but he is, he cares so much as well. One of the interviews I was listening to him do, and and this isn't really about the book, this is about the podcast. One of the interviews I was listening to him do, he was actually emotional. Uh, He was actually in tears. And you you will see that I get emotional from time to time. And it's nice to see because why do we have to pretend we're not emotional? We're emotional beings and I I am very much an emotional and I can can definitely relate to him. And he almost, when this person had an aha moment, this, this lady, this girl, he was emotional because he knew that he'd changed her perspective. Of, of what she was capable of. And he knew that he just might, in that instant, have changed her life. And it was so beautiful. It was a, it was just a real moment. It was an organic, real moment. And it, it got him. And, you know, when you can't, you can't pretend, you can't act things like that. And it just made me so love him so much more because it genuinely means a well to him to help these people, help people start from zero and start a business and live a fulfilled life and not being not having to work between nine and five. And for me, that is the best gift that he can give anybody. So to sum it up, if you have got any aspirations of starting a business, if you've got any aspirations of starting a side hustle now or in the future, if you are in business right now, if you are an entrepreneur, whatever, get this book. This book is fantastic. I would love to get Dane on this podcast. In fact, I was just thinking then, I'm going to get him on the podcast. I'm going to get him on the podcast. It's a big deal. I don't know if he'll have time, but I will definitely reach out to him because it would be amazing to get him on this podcast. And I've got so much love, genuine love and respect for this man. This is like an eight minute, like day in testimonial. You see on his website soon, this this testimonial. No, genuinely, it is a good book. Uh, I'm looking at my notes now. I've got absolutely tons of notes, but I'm trying to give you the framework because I don't want to, I don't want to give you the, the nitty gritty because he would explain it much, much better than I do, but he literally structures it out from starting a business, from what to look for, from the questions to ask, even if you don't know what the business should be, he gives you a framework, he gives you questions to answer, he gives you homework to go away and literally ask people. And it's a, it's a brilliant framework. So even if you don't know what the idea is, if you, you just think you might want to start a business and this is a great book. It's a great starting point and it, it comes from a, a place of love and genuine care for individuals, which is, is just nice. I was going to say that is not, you don't often see it, but hopefully, I mean, who's to, who's to know if people are, are genuine, but this guy, he looks very genuine and he does care and he gets my endorsements 100%. So this week, the book review is start from zero and I would definitely, I'm, I'm thinking, should I give it a score out of 10? But then I, I just give all the books a 10 because they all have the, 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 the certain, apart from duct tape marketing, which is fairly basic and fairly old fashioned, but in his day, I'm sure, look at me, I don't want to say anything bad about it. In his day, I'm sure it was good. I'm sure it was really good. But right now, uh, it's not, not for me, that book. But uh, this book, Dame, Dame Maxwell's book is awesome. And I would certainly give it a, a really, really high score. I don't want to go about giving scores because then I feel bad if I don't score one, I'm real high. And uh, Anyway, Thank you so much for listening to me. I really, really appreciate you guys. And um, I will speak to you tomorrow where we are talking. Let me have a look at the notes. 
Oh, it's challenge of the week, and it's talking about the basic needs, the needs, the 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 needs that we all have as human beings. We've got six needs, and we're talking about well, we're talking about all six, but I'm going to go into one of them where it's often overlooked. And I promise you, if you start looking for this a little bit more, I don't want to give it all away. If you start looking for this basic need a little bit more, then your life will be more fulfilled and happier. And I know I certainly am when I do it, even though I don't like to do this one. I know that ultimately it's better for me, it's better for my soul, it's better for my well-being. Okay, my friends, my family, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And I will speak to you on Sunday morning. Attack the day, have a great weekend. And thank you for tuning in. I do appreciate you. Don't forget to leave a comment on YouTube, leave a rating and review on iTunes or whatever podcast platform you listen to on. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. This is Dean. Over, and, I, If you watch the YouTube video, I'll put a link in the show notes. I did like a little salute. I mean, what am I doing? <laughs> Have a great day and I'll see you soon, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.